Answers 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. Well, good evening. It is a Monday night. It is nine o'clock. It is time to tin your tip with myself, Gary Dibley. It is extremely, 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 extremely hot in the shed, I can most certainly tell you. Um, it is a Monday night. It is nine o'clock um, and it is Mark's birthday today. Um, he is 21 again. So uh, everybody, happy birthday to Mark. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be as annoyed as I was last week. Um, I do promise. Um, it's too hot to to, to even uh, sort of uh, <laughs> sort of go there. Um, but yeah, this week um, we do have sort of a lot lined up for you. Um, I had a look um, at. Uh, it was a last minute thing. Um, it's extremely hot. Obviously, I've said before. Um, it's only because I am currently melting. Um, the paddling pool was filling and all sorts at the weekend and and it was going to be uh sort of a last minute thing of what i was going to do now i did come up with something um because i had spare material left over and this that, and the other on the lathe and i decided to uh, to try and make a new top for a for a vamo that had seen better days um mark this week uh is going to be continuing um, with his, uh, he was putting a variable sort of uh, resistory thing on one of the boards, replacing the current ones so it could be outside of a mod. Um, so he's going to be carrying on with that this week. Uh, I'm going to pop into our first little video and I'll see you back very shortly after this. So I'm going to start this hole off with the same bit. I've marked out with the correct size I need for this. cleaned up the hole, that should fit perfect. I'm going to have to clean away all this mess, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so we're back again for another week, and um, this week, after all of the ranting and bits and pieces, um, let's try and calm it down a little bit now. I'm sure everybody's feeling much happier about things that are are going on and, and will be going on. Um, you may notice it is absolutely steaming hot here and um, the shed is uh, rather warm to, to say the least. Um, so I thought I'd, rather than filming this under the lights let's get a bit of natural light going today. Um, we haven't had that a long time on, on this show. What am I going to do? Well, I've been toying with the idea of, of playing with a few uh, bits and pieces. Um, now, I've obviously ripped quite a few of these apart that have failed for one reason or another, and you may well see the little uh, Vamo bodies. Now, I've decided to, uh, to, to pretty much rebuild one of these, or use um, the end piece in, in a different way. Now, I was looking at the, obviously the end pieces, the... Uh, bit that you attach your your etty to and those do bed quite well or quite nicely in in the wood now i've never used the sort of the ego type threading before um sort of really i don't know why just i never have for me my thing has always been you know the tanks um that type of thing but I've been looking at the stuff that we've been turning the, the tips with um, and the material that, that we can. Now this is a uh, you know nice green, I'm sure it's whatever it's called, mallet, chite or shite or something like that. Um, but this one here is pretty much identical 
in diameter to the end of my Vamo adapter that's mullered here. Now I'm sort of thinking it would be be rather nice to try and sort of make uh, a new top cap to go in here with a material of my choice. Um, means I can have it sort of uh, get this one built back up, probably recess uh, an Etty connection down in the end there, um, get it down a little bit further than normal so it sits flush and, and you know, personalise up the Vamo a little bit. Um, so I'm going to be giving that a go. Uh, obviously it means I'm going to have to head over to the lathe which means shutting the door um, and putting all the, uh, all the lights and bits and pieces back on. I'll pop away, I'll come back in two. Okay, so we're back and uh, and we've got the uh, still got the door open. Um, a little bit of natural light coming in today, um, which which is good. It's it's, it's warm, very warm. Um, so back on with my sort of um, idea today, which is to try and, and make a new uh, end cap for my uh, Vamo that I'm going to be piecing back together. I don't know whether we're going to get the Vamo piece back together. Uh, today, um, I'm going to have to get a, uh, a board ordered, or, or seems pointless butchering one to make one. Um, this is a uh, stainless steel body, um, and one of the reasons I, I butchered this one is, is it was dropped a few times, and uh, with with there we go, just like that, um, and, and the end cap, uh, nothing would sit straight on it. So um, that was the reason it was it was mullered. Um, now stainless steel tube um, I've got all the buttons and stuff and what I may try and do is, is carry this project on a little bit and replicate the the buttons um, to match the the top cap um, that we're hoping to sort of make today um, I've got a choice of materials um, I'm gonna probably go funky with this one um, but I've got this one here which is uh, it'd be like an imitation tortoise shell I've got a ebony and I have a whatever the hell that is um, now just to show you what, what they look like finished up um, this is uh, a tip that was done with the the tortoise shell um, still needs finishing off um, but that's quite funky um, I've then got the ebony here again still needs finishing off but that one really does sort of shine up well um, and I've got the uh, whatever that is, I don't know, the all salty type colour. Um, I'm sort of liking this one to be honest. Uh, I'm going to make a funky Vamo. And, and the idea is, if we can have our, our top cap made out of the, the funky stuff um, with a, uh, this one might be ever so slightly, uh, I don't know, might be cool. Um, you know, so the top cap made out of that with uh, my tanky on and a matching drip tip yeah funky I don't know different something different I was looking and thinking what the hell can we do today and uh, this was it so what I'm going to do to start with is is just piece up um, and get something uh, set in the lathe and I am going to go with this one so let me just pop that in the jaws and roughly get that held in and centered check we're spinning which we are now with this thing what we're going to have to do let me just bring in my two L's Roughly want to measure out where I want to go with this, um, and I'm going to need an end cap. Now, obviously, this is is pretty much a few straight, simple cuts, um, and all I'm going to do is probably just uh, get a little um, pen. Do me one second. So we're a bit chillax today. So I'm just going to mark up. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work on here. Roughly. A line on the top of there. Now, I'm not sure how visible that's going to be when it's spinning.
tad more out. just going to gauge the the depth that I need to get on here which is pretty much just a few microns now that is as, as deep as I I sort of need to take it what I'm going to do then is, is cut in a bit deeper on the outside of it <laughs> gives me, uh, if you like, almost a cut off point, I think, there. It's difficult to focus on this, but if I get my hand under there. So what I've done is, is cutting the ridge where that's going to insert into the Vamo. Uh, let me get this in the other side. The ridge where that's going to sit in. So pretty much keeping the same sort of, uh, of, of dimensions. Um, there we go. I'll probably cut this a little bit too short, but uh, it doesn't matter. The way that I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to need a bit more clearance on, on the board. So what I'm going to do now is, is try and drill up for the um, ATI connection. Let me get the drill set. I'll pop back in two. And there we go. We are back in the room once again, and it is it's, it's warm. Oh, me won't be able to tell. Extremely warm. Um, this week, uh, Mr. Dorm um, is is not very well. Um, he has a head infection. Um, he's or his tooth. Um, he has an abscess under a tooth that he may well have to take out. Uh, I may well be back um, on Wednesday night. They did say that they wanted a uh, a debonair um, presenter. Um, unfortunately, one of those wasn't available, so uh, it may well be me. Um, I am going to uh, slip. Into, but I will say, just one thing, so warm, um, it's beautiful, um, and long may it continue. However, working in a, uh, what can only be described today as a complete and utter sauna, um, with lights and PCs running and everything, um, is just a tad uncomfortable, <laughs> to say the slightest. <laughs> I'm going to slip into our first little air break if I can find the little burger and uh, we'll pop back after this. Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. back in the room once again and if you're watching this on the replay it was absolutely seamless for the first half um, of this particular show um, as we mentioned earlier um, Dave Dorm is uh, is 
potentially um, may not be around on Wednesday however um, hopefully um, there will be an extremely uh, handsome and debonair uh, presenter who um, is probably going to be ready to step in at the last minute's notice if he can um, and if you haven't guessed who that is already um, no scrap all that um, I might be covering uh, so yes um, if Dave is, uh, is is slightly unwell on, on Wednesday um, we're gonna sort of do BT talk from the shed ish um, and try and cover some of the stuff that Dave sort of covers um, hopefully Dave's gonna be well enough to be around um, because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with a show like that um, but we'll give it a bash um, we may well be um, sort of as you know Dave does go away for a, for a time in August um, and I may well have after a few beers volunteered to stand in for some of the time he's away um, so yes I do I do actually have and and I, I've got a, a young guy that we work with um, who's also a vapor um, you may well have seen him on on Marco's show he's the guy at the boat with the uh, with the uh, with the vamo um, young guy called Lewis he's one of our electricians um, and and he's he's gonna be a young Keith um, in the shed um, during August so uh, we're gonna have some fun um, I'm gonna go along and film him because he is an absolute loony as well and he has entered himself in a, um, a chili eating contest in Kingston God only knows why <laughs> But apparently they've got to munch your way through various raw chilies going right up to the, the really, really hot one. I don't know what that is, but it might mean death. So it might not be here in August anyway. Um, there you go. So, yes, if you're with us uh, live today, um, you would have noticed there may have been a, a little few problems. And I may well be at, you know, melting at this moment in time. Hopefully um, the, the stream will hold up. I've had a little problem um, with the, the program that, that runs, if you like, the broadcast element of this show, which is Wirecast, um, and they can't find out what the problem is. I've run the same program on two machines, two identical machines, um, and it still keeps dropping. Uh, so hopefully hopefully that will uh, that will sort itself soon. Um, I mailed them again tonight and, uh, and said, please, sort it the hell out. Um, it's the sort of thing that... that, that could sort of aggravate the Hulk in me. Um, I may turn green and rip clothes off, uh, but hopefully it won't come to that. Uh, let's carry on with Mark's um, little video on his team. Now, I've taken the opportunity while I was cleaning up to add a layer of clear epoxy just to the base here. Just a nice thin layer just to insulate everything from the electronics to help things along. So next job is going to be to put the switch in which will just slot through there and then the retaining screw will just go over the top. keep this whole thing as simple as possible. So most of the going well, so I'm just going to screw in or just glue in place. Awesome. Basically I'm just going to go finger tight because that's all it really needs. Next component I'll be adding is going to be this. So again, this will just fit through like that. And the screw just screws down on the outside. Again, pretty much just finger tight with the control knob, which will push down and cover on most of it. So 
that will fit like that. And this will fit like that. I'll tidy up my eyes. Just like that. And to touch the switch, I need to make a cut. I'll put this right around. I need to make a cut in one of these wires, so I'll probably pick the positive one. Uh, I'll stop the wire. I'll strip it off. I'll just solder it to both these points. Snippers, not strippers. Add the atomizer connector, which I've pre soldered just to make life a bit easier and quicker. As I'm sure you've seen me do this plenty of times before. So that will just go in place there, and these two wires. Just pop through the holes. wires out of the way, glue these two in with a bit of epoxy I think. And of course add some to this as well after I've super glued in place. Which I've just made a real mess up. I've got me uh, me drill sort of uh, me bit in. I'll just talk you a little bit through the process of, of how I'm, I'm looking at doing this. Um, now I, I'm going to be taking obviously a, a small sort of three mil, um, taking it up, taking it up, you know, through all the cuts and, and eventually out to uh, to a nine mil, where I can test fit the atomizer connection 
whoop, that he's just lost um, in the top of there. And I may ream it out ever so slightly just so that does sit sort of fully, fully home. Now I've got to try and take it obviously right the way through so I can get my wife through. Um, he's dropping everything today. Uh, let me, I won't film all the process of the drilling, but essentially centering this up. Um, drilling out with a three first and then taking it up through the bits uh, to a, a nine mil um, obviously so my SE connection can go in. I'll pop away, I'll do some drilling, I'll come back into. Right, we'll see this we'll see this afterwards, but but essentially what I've done now is taken this out to a nine mil and my atty and I've taken it in ever so slightly, slightly recessed. So my atty will uh, will go sort of full way in there. Now the next stage um, again is is going to be uh, relatively uh, relatively boring, um, and that involves now polishing up this um, this poly blank. Um, so I've laid uh, some some kitchen roll on on here um, just to protect the uh, the bed and lathe. Um, they hate water, and and we do clean these with water. So I'm going to get that um, pretty much all sort of sorted and uh, and polished up. Um, and then I'm going to cut this off. Now at that point what I'm going to do is, is we'll pop back and, and have a look how we're getting on. Um, very very simple, very very quick um, and I think a, a nice way of actually sort of personalising um, a mod to be honest Pop away, uh, do the polish, they're going to be all the usual process so right the way through the grit so Starting with a sort of a, a 1500 uh, of the micro mesh, then an 1800, then a 3600, then a 4000, and the 6000, then a 12000. Oh, easy for me to say. I'm going to pop away, uh, get the polish done. Um, we'll pop back uh, when we've got this cut off and, and down on the bench. And we're back in the room. Now, I cut a couple of steps there because uh, I'm desperately trying to sort of get finished. I can get out in this sun. Uh, sitting in the uh, in the doorway of the shed is uh, is hot, sticky, warm and um, damn right just not on on a Sunday where the sun is beaming and the paddling pool is filling. Um, so, uh, I noticed a couple of, uh, a couple of flaws in my, my plan, so to speak. Um, Obviously, the stuff that I had here is is twenty uh, is a twenty mil, um, and uh, that uh, pretty much is is pushing it to the limits. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a crack at this, and and if, if sort of people agree and people want to see it, um, I'm going to rebuild a ammo with the new board, um, and I think I'm going to go with the with the tortoise shell um, one. Now, the tortoise shell blank I've got is twenty five mil, um, and it's a twenty five mil blank that I can lay down. Uh, to fit the dimensions of the Vamo perfectly. Um, as I say, it was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, uh, ever so slightly undersized. But essentially, all I've done uh, is sort of test fitted it in this blank half that I got here. Um, you can sort of see where we're going with that. It's not perfectly polished. Um, I've, I've given it sort of a, a rough polish just to to show you the sort of thing that I'm looking at doing um, and you can see obviously that is recessed ever so slightly in, in the end of that VAMO um, a little bit too much. Uh, to get it flush I need to be working with a 25mm blank and, and not a 20mm um, but that sort of is the sort of the concept, the idea um, behind where we want to go with that and if you've got the 25mm blanks it should be very very easy to, uh, to try and knock one of those up. Now if you want to see one um, I will uh, I'll order some more blanks up and we'll do a complete rebuild and, and customization on, on one of these um, including the buttons and and everything but as it stands at the moment uh, that Atty is in there um, let me just grab the the did show you what we mean now take my tip off my did if I screw the did into the end of the uh, the Vamo sort of sits there like so um, you can see it just adds another little band of colour and if you match that and team that with the with the tip of the same material it's tarts paradise um, it's getting extremely noisy out there at the moment um, God only knows what's happening uh, but that's sort of where we were going with it that that is the the idea sort of um, the 
a concept. Uh, you know, you can customize the top to match your, your tip and vice versa. Um, I'm thinking this is going to also look nice in, in the black um, and uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. But realistically, that is where we were looking at going with that. I'm just going to put the dead back in the fantastic little holder that, uh, that Mark made me. I don't know what's going on out there today, but there's a lot of noise occurring. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop back, uh, if I can find something else to film um, before I drink beer, uh, be a good idea. But conceptually, that's what we're looking at. Um, if you want to see me do the full one, and we'll try and make it, like I say, with the tortoiseshell um, and all that sort of stuff, uh, we'll give it a bash. But I just wanted to prove that that, that was sort of um, would work out and would look sort of relatively half decent. I'll pop back into. And there we go, we are back in the room and I'm just picking up on a few comments from chat and yes, you may well have seen I, I did end that video a little bit abruptly, um, mainly because I thought the same as you guys were thinking. Um, th for some reason I did that and run and hid down the end of the garden. As soon as I heard all that noise going on in the background, um, Gary Wood did say, "Would would that material um, be strong enough, um, or, or you know, to make a tank out of?" Now that uh, I believe that is exactly the same material uh, that Unique Mods make their um, tank out of. Um, obviously, it's got the perspexy bit in the middle, but top and bottom caps. Yes, you most certainly can use that material to to make that. I'm going to pop into our second little ad break and I'll pop back um, very shortly after this. Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. again and I must say I, I, I rushed out I, I've got a fridge over there now with a little freezer compartment in um, and I did have a, a, a Magnus that's pear cider that's been sat in that fridge that I've just cracked open and it is absolutely freezing it is very very nice um, I must say I did laugh um, just a little um, at Mark super gluing his hand to his mod um, that is a whole new level of dedication um, but at this moment in time my chair and certain body parts are sort of having the same effect you didn't need to know that but that's how warm it is in this shed um, Betty is definitely in the house um, it is it's, it's very very warm um, so yes as, as I was saying that little bit of uh, you know the the thing that we made to go on the Vamo that was a if you like a last minute thing what can we do what the hell do we do I haven't got anything to do it's, it's too hot I want to get in the pool type thing um, uh, so really that was sort of like a uh, if you like a, a, a concept thing um, have a look at it see if it works see if it's worth taking it forward see if it's worth making a the whole mod thing and I've been looking at a chat and, and I do sort of have to agree that um, I think with the 25 mil stuff, that could um, pretty much be sort of hollowed out, um, 
it's, yeah, it'd be, it'd be really nice to have that hollowed out with a you know, couple of bits of stainless steel for the battery and this and the other and, and have the whole thing done in it um, I don't think I have the skills and or, or, or the tooling to do. I may have I don't know um, I haven't tried it but from sort of where we went with that um, I did have a few ideas which you'll see coming up in, in this last little bit um, we are going to run a little bit past uh, 9 o'clock um, tonight because obviously the stream went bonkers um, but I'll be back very very shortly um, after this so basically here I have a perfectly serviceable mod uh, I've added epoxy to the base underneath to fix these into place and I've also added a good thick layer around the atomizer connector to really firm it up, give it something to grip onto so there's no danger of that moving around and stuck a few of the wires up down in place. So if I pop the batteries in. Right I haven't done something stupid when I've been putting it together. All work. So press the button and they and get a little light again. You'll see it's currently at 2 volts, down as far as 1.2, turn all the way up to 7.8. If I press the selector, it'll tell me there's 8.3 in the battery, so which means they're pretty much fully charged. testing cut. Just make sure everything's absolutely working perfectly. And then you have a good sizzle. It's still registering 4.1 on the display. So basically that's a mod done. But I thought it seems a bit of a shame they've got all this trouble of putting the control on the outside and having a built-in display if you can't actually see it. So what I thought is I need to put a window in the lid I think. So I measured out roughly where I want to go and I thought about cutting out a nice square hole that would look nice and pretty but with my cutting skills it's probably not for the best so I'm going to drill a hole instead. starting a drill bit. marked out at 24 millimeters as so that is around about the right size I want so I want a nice big window in this so here we go making sure the fingers are well out of the way grip on the thing. I don't mind telling you that lid's getting incredibly hot with this cutting. One more to go. Not like that. Good tight grip. Through 
through the other side as well. That does get up. So I've ended up with what's a half decent hole, not the best I've ever done, let's see. As there's a little nick on one side where, as you saw, I lost my grip and it went flying. But that will fit on there nicely. And you'll get your display through there very easily. Could have done being slightly higher possibly. So we've got a little low. It's in view. So I've got a scrap piece of perspex here that I've had lying around. I seem to have one of them. And I'm just gonna super glue it to the back. I've roughed up the back of it with some sandpaper while I was busy. So it just really matter. Just push firmly down onto the perspex. And that actually draws the super glue in that I've put around the edge into the perspex under here, so hopefully they'll end up with a good layer. I'll just have to hold this for a while and I'll let you see what it's set. So there, I've held it down for a couple of minutes now. It should be nicely set in place. So now it should Don't don't press on the back. Just going to slot the tin in place, and then you've got a nice display window, nice and smooth on the outside. There's no rough edges there, so nothing to catch on. Press the button, and then you've got your voltage, so you can just look in anything you need. Let's see. Let's see. It's slightly low, but it'll do the job nicely. So that's another completed mod, just a bit of cleaning up on it and it should be good to go. So I'll be back next week. With what? I've got no idea. But you'll have to come and have a look to find out. Bye. Okay, so obviously that was a very, 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 very brief sort of uh, overview, a look uh, at how um, you know, getting getting this thing to, to fit in the Bama. Obviously, this this was to, as I said earlier, to sort of prove um, to me that, that it's possible. Potentially, is it worth doing? Um, I think it may well be with the with the tortoise shell. The one thing that, that this has sort of shown me, and this is the the, the thing with with modding. Um, this one little idea, trying to come up with something to play with for today on, on the show has led to other ideas and while I was sat here thinking what the hell can we waffle about, um, we're going to give you a choice um, of, of mods uh, going forwards. So if you want to see me do a Vamo with the tortoiseshell stuff, um, buttons and all, um, we can do that. Or I do have, <coughs> excuse me, I do have a chunk of uh, the cherry left over, a real nice chunk of the cherry um, left over, and I haven't done one yet, and I think it's about time I did. Now, this chunk of wood, as I think we've looked at before, has got pipe written all over it to me, um, perfect size pipe, and Following on, I mean, the, the reason or, or how this idea came about is is looking at the, uh, you know, what is possible in the lathe, obviously still learning with the lathe um, and still got a, a long way to go. Um, I'm looking at how possible it would be to make a, a pipe out of this, a um, bit of cherry, uh, and then make all the other bits uh, that I need for it. Um, and I'm sort of thinking it would be lovely to, to have, um, uh, you know, the end piece that my hat is going to screw into coming off the pipe, um, you know, ni nicely shaped um, into about 22mm end, so it will take most of the uh, doofers. I won't be putting the Vamo bits and pieces in it. 
um, it would be a huge pipe. But I'm sort of thinking we could start next week. <coughs> he says, choking. My throat is as dry as a dry thing. Um, we could sort of look uh, potentially going forwards, and this is probably going to take a, a long old time, looking at uh, making a pipe out of chunk of wood um, with some nice. Uh, all the bits, the paraphernalia, the bit the atty screws in with with some nice um, sort of tortoise shell or the ebony or, or something like that. I think the, the tortoise shell and uh, the way that this cherry stains up um, could be a really nice combination for a pipe. Um, we should be able to make our, our button, we should be able to make our end piece um, right the way up to, to a matching uh, sort of pipey type mouth, mouthpiece. Now I'm not sure whether I can get a stem shape out of this on, on the lathe. It would be bloody impossible I think. But going forwards, um, there are your choices. Um, let us know what you'd like to see. Um, I'm going to have to get some tools in if I'm going to do this. Um, I've been really wanting to get a bandsaw in here um, and this might be the, uh, the perfect time to be buying a bandsaw um, to get the rough cuts on, on on this chunk of wood if that's the way uh, you, you decide to go. Um, but I'll leave it up to you guys. Is it going to be pipe or Vemo? Uh, pipe, as I say, has probably got a fair few weeks. To be honest, so so probably has the Vamo if we're going to do it step by step. That was done very, very, very quickly um, this week. And uh, I, I just noticed I, I have here, this was where I was, uh, this is, this is, um, if you like, pre-stumpy. So this this one here is when I was playing with holes and bits and pieces. Um, ruined a perfectly good piece of wood. But there may, there be, I've got loads of cherry left. If you want to see some more wood, let us know. Um, one thing I will say uh, before we disappear is, if you haven't done so yet already, um, and I know we've been talking about it a lot, you need to be out there, guys, and you need to be... Uh, contacting your MPs, your MEPs, and, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, I'm a bit more chilled this week. Um, mind, you know, once the initial shock and, and all that of, uh, of last week was, was out of the way, um, you know, you put your mind to it, you, you, you know there's got to be a way. Um, obviously, Hope Trails TV are doing everything we possibly can, as, as is, you know, sort of Dave Dorm and, and uh, yeah. Andy with the SWAF campaign and, and everybody, the whole team has, has sort of put a, a, a fair amount of effort into this. Um, let's keep it going, let's keep it going forwards. Uh, enough of that waffle. Um, back to me in the studio, but next week's mod or the start of next week's mod is entirely up to you guys. Let us know what you want to see. With all that waffle out of the way, it's back to me in the studio. And there we go. Uh, I would just echo again what I said there. Uh, don't forget, keep on to your M MPs, MEPs and all that sort of stuff. Um, coming up this week, uh, obviously tomorrow night we've got Marco uh, at uh, 9 o'clock for his usual half hour slot. Half, half hour? That sounded very southern. Um, I don't know why. Um, I'm training to be a northern Dave uh, at this moment in time um, because... Um, on Wednesday, I may well be um, putting out the VT talk, which worries me ever so slightly. Um, if Dave hasn't recovered from his uh, tooth extractomy, uh, the queen, um, I, th I think he may. I, I, I've got a sneaky suspicion he's going in for a full set of gnashes, and he will come out looking like Simon Cowell. Um, but I may well be wrong. Um, obviously on Thursday uh, if, if Dave is recovered enough we will have the haze hour and going rapidly into Sunday uh, hopefully Dave Kitson will have found his suitcase and uh, and we'll be back um, for uh, you don't know this but he lost his oh, you may well have seen show was cancelled on on Sunday because basically Dave lost all his clothes including his pants um, he could have been here pretty much as I was uh, doing the little pre-show absolutely darkest um, but uh, he didn't, yeah, obviously he had to go out and buy a new kit um, so hopefully he's going to find all that and be back on Sunday for his tackle box because we didn't want to see his tackle box this week um, it has been emotional guys I am going to have to pop away now and uh, and probably re-record the first half if you're watching this on the replay nothing happened at all um, but I am now going to go and kill my PC 
um, and and the men and ladies at Wirecast. Um, thanks very much. A very, very happy birthday to Mark once again. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I'll see you on Wednesday. If I don't uh, and, and Dave is well enough, I'll be back with Mark uh, next Monday. Catch you all soon, guys. It's time for me to go um, and stick my head in an icy bucket. Good night all. Ten-year tip with Gary Dibley.